10 types of roller coaster tycoon guests. Here we go. Type 1, the lost guest. If there's one thing this guest never does, it's ride a single ride ever. They are constantly getting lost. They love to walk up an exit path, as if heading this way will lead them to anything fun. Sometimes it will show that they're heading for a ride, but it's a lie. If you look close enough, you'll see that they're just stuck on the complete opposite side of a park, going nowhere. They can't ever find the bathrooms, even though they are very easily accessible all over the park. This guest only exists to lower your park rating and constantly be lost. Type 2, the circle maker. Now this guest will only walk in constant circles all over your park. That's all they ever do. They don't seem to want to ride anything, buy a souvenir, or do anything productive or fun. In fact, they'll walk right past the most amazing looking rides, trading the thrill of a roller coaster for walking around in a food court. This is extremely puzzling. Why would you pay $60 to come to a theme park to walk in circles? Type three, the repeater. We're finally gonna get to ride something. Here's the thing about this guest though. If you watch them closely, you'll notice that they love riding the same ride over and over and over again. It doesn't matter how many times they've ridden it before. They come out of the exit and they head right back into the queue line all day, every day for multiple days, and multiple months, and multiple years. Type four, the cheapskate. Now this guest really grinds my gears. They will not pay for anything. No matter what price you set, it's always gonna be too expensive for them. Now, I understand this in a way, like especially if you have the ride price calculator installed in your game, because that plugin is designed to make the ride as expensive as guests will pay. But let's say you don't do that. Let's say you give a nice little discount. How about $5 for a roller coaster? Nope, they're not paying that much. Well, what about 150 for a drink? That's a pretty good price, right? At a theme park, that's like pretty good deal, but they won't even consider it. This guest won't even come into your park if the entrance fee is too high. Even a free bathroom costs too much money for them. Type five, the complainer. Now this guest literally complains about everything. When you go look at their thoughts, you will immediately be able to identify this guest. It's either too crowded or the path is disgusting. They aren't paying that much for cotton candy or they've been standing in line for ages. This guest will always ignore the great things about your park, like beautiful scenery and awesome roller coasters. Everything is always terrible and they wanna go home. Type six, the destroyer, also known as the vandal. This guest was always an accomplishment for me whenever I was able to make someone this angry. Now you'll be able to pick this guest out so easily because their face, it's bright red. This guest has had enough. Something happened to them previously to make them beyond the complainer. Now they're the incredible Hulk of Roller Coaster Tycoon. They smash benches and destroy trash bins like they're fighting the Chitari in New York in 2012. It isn't too hard to get them to calm down, thankfully. All you gotta do is give them what they need and they'll be happy once again. But honestly, it's kind of more fun to let them be angry. Type seven, the poker face, featuring my friend, Robert, from Five Mad Movie Makers. This guest is probably one of the funniest types in the game. No matter how much fun this guest appears to be having, no matter what insane, amazing roller coaster they are currently riding, this guest does not crack a smile, ever. Their expression never once changes. They could be in your park for years and you wouldn't know if they are or aren't having fun. Are my roller coasters not that great? Is my park really bad or is it really good? I don't know because no matter what happens, this guest's emotions never change. They are stone cold a true death stare. Type eight, the memory maker. You won't be able to tell who is a memory maker until you look into their inventory. In the game, there are tons of fun souvenirs like clothing, stuffed animals, on-ride photos, all kinds of fun stuff. And it's normal to see somebody carrying one or two things, or sometimes they don't carry anything. But when you click on somebody and you see this, you've got a memory maker. This guest will buy literally every single souvenir in your park because they do not want to forget the wonderful day that they've had today. Type nine, the sick guest. This might be the most annoying guest in my opinion. This guest always has a green face. <laughs> what I mean by this is they're constantly getting sick. Now you would think that this guest would learn after the first ride they ride with high nausea. Nope. They certainly don't learn. Sometimes they even get back in line to the same ride that they got sick on while they're still sick. This guest needs to hit up a first aid stall and rest for a little while, but they won't. Type 10, the drowner. Of course I had to end the video with this one. The drowner is a unique type of guest because anyone can be a drowner. 
It just depends on the player. Like me, I like to drown some people. Anyone can become a drowner for any reason at all. Maybe a guest keeps vandalizing things. Or maybe a guest won't write anything. Or maybe a guest keeps complaining. Honestly, any of the previous nine types of guests can become a drowner at any moment. All it takes is one thing. <laughs> Type 11. The Nah, I'm just kidding. Didn't you read the title? I'm only doing 10. I'm sure I missed some though, so if you have an idea of one that I should do next, put a comment below and maybe I'll make a part two. Thank you again to Robert from Five Mad Movie Makers for helping me with this video. Uh, his links are below, so please go check out his YouTube channel. It's freaking awesome. Also, please like this video if you haven't already, and please hit the nice happy subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, click over to this next video that I'm putting up on the screen right now and watch it now. I guarantee you will laugh or at least smile a little bit. Anyway, go watch it now. See ya.